Hello and welcome back to the seminary. Today I present to you, in collaboration with Humble Simmer, the Humble Simmer Townhomes. While each home is similar, they are both very different. However, they are both parts of the same whole. I chose to focus on a classic Art Deco opulent home. I took inspiration from Pinterest and many, many Google searches. I studied many a photo and layout of classic brownstones for sale in New York City that you can find on Trulia and Zillow. Many of these have their layouts posted with the listing and the interior and exterior photos. Humble chose a different style, but I'll let her tell you about that in her video. And I'll have her link in the description and at the end card so you can go watch hers directly after mine. The entire build will be available on the gallery without CC. Mine has not been playtested, so please use it at your own risk and make sure you turn move objects on before you place it onto your lot. This is the first level. There are three levels above that and a basement. I studied homes like crazy. One of them that I was going to do initially was the building used for the movie Breakfast at Tiffany's. Now I changed things a little bit from the plans I initially was looking at. Uh, the top level does not have the bowed window front. And since we are recreating brownstones, I went with a really nice warm colored brick. Now I fiddle with this front part a little bit, but it remains mostly the same. A little bit of window placement, little columns. They really need to reverse that. I don't, I'm not a fan. I'm using a more patinaed brass kind of metal because I wanted it to show its age in a way. So I figured that was one of the best ways to do it. Now we are in the foyer, or the foyer, placing out some paintings. Don't worry about the floors. I didn't really film that because I changed it to something a little bit more basic so that the floor isn't in the forefront. I'd much rather have it be more like a gallery where the paintings, the artwork on the walls, is the star. Now I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put stairs, walls, what kind of colors I'm going to be putting in there. Now I opened that top section there because it just makes it look larger and grander and more opulent, which is the whole point of my build. Nice warm wood floors. Those are commonly found in New York brownstones. Now, in the plans that I was looking at from classic homes of the Art Deco era, there were these really interesting little protrusions. I have no idea if they were actually something else, like bricked up fireplaces or what, or if they were just there as decoration. Here's the library. I skip around a lot. You should watch me build a normal speed. Don't. You will die of boredom. It's ridiculous. My favorite pack is Vintage Glamour, and I'm so glad I got to use this one so much, which was kind of why I chose the version that I did, because I wanted to use that pack. I wanted it to be more grand, like, you know, from back in the day. This is the more formal living room. I'm adding those hints of blue, like pops of color, because everything is really black and white and brown with a tash of gold. I originally made that one thing a dining room, but I didn't like how I put it. And there's technically two. There's more of like a formal one and one that is less formal. This is the formal one. I decided to change it up using some photographs of yesteryear I found on the interwebs and the walls were green and I wish I could get wallpaper that had all of these birds and vines and things and that's really hard to find because you know to do it I'd have to use CC and I really don't want to do that I want to upload things so that you can use them and make them your own but I tried to keep with the same color theme where purple chairs, brown tables, green, yellow, and I 
tried to add the flowery part with curtains and then plants later on. This is the kitchen. I decided to make the top uh, wall cabinets white because it accentuated the shimmering of the wallpaper and the white countertops. I also like the variation in color. Otherwise, it's too matchy-matchy. Not quite what I was going for. I changed things a little bit around here, but not very much. Coffee maker. Gotta put in some coffee makers. Because <gasps> coffee. A little ice cream maker. Sink. Now I added two stoves to make sure that the butler has all of the things he needs to cook all of the foods because, you know, this is obviously a party home. They entertain a lot, the family. Now I make those glass over the sunroom, which leads out into the back garden. And as you can see, I did something a little bit different with it, and I'm gonna get back into fiddling with the landscaping of that in a little while. I didn't film a great deal of the cluttering because I don't clutter a lot or a whole bunch of plant stuff, but you know, because it's kind of boring and I skip around a lot and it's making me dizzy. And I was like, uh, you guys aren't gonna like that. This is a butler's pantry in the second level because it's a house for fancy people and they have those things with sinks and dishwashers where you can put snacks. They have snack rooms. I want a snack room. Okay, so if you guys had a snack room like that, what would you put in it? What are your favorite snacks? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. We can have a discussion about food. Kind of like my streams and pretty much anything I start on Twitter. This is a really long and extensive walk-in closet that leads into a bathroom. Now this is the bathroom downstairs. I eventually changed this. It was originally supposed to be a stairwell and I changed it back into a stairwell to lead down into the basement, but I completely spaced out on that. I think in total I spent probably about 12 hours on this build. And that's how much footage I got, and I tried to whittle it down to something about 21 minutes or so. This is the sunroom there. Up here, this is the master bedroom. And I kind of went with a blue, black, gold kind of thing. Lots of grays. Little bench in front of there. I fought with this a little bit in the back. I was trying to find something that works for those space portions. But now that we have the freely moving doors and windows situation, if you're seeing this, I am recording the narration on the day that the patch came out that gave us landscaping around the perimeter of the home on the foundation so they don't jump up a little bit more control with that and the freely moving doors and windows just before the eco lifestyle pack. Now I'm working in the closet of the bathroom, the master bathroom. Very opulent, lots of gold, lots of warm tones making it look older and inviting and cozy. Now I'm just adding some clothing racks over here to make it look like they have things. Again, with the more antique feel of things, brown feeling of parchment, of age. I changed that into that kind of a bench because I liked that idea better. And then I put that coffee table back out into this little seating area in the master bedroom. I wish I had this master bedroom. The master bedroom is probably about the size of my condo. No joke. Little bench over there. And these divide. Oh god, I love these dividers. They were so cute. 
they just jumped at me. It's like, ah, oh, I have to use these. I need to use them more often. I love this pack. It's one of my all time favorite packs. I just love the stuff. This is the kind of stuff that I love, the design of it. I love Art Deco. I love Jacobian Art Nouveau. Really up my alley. This is a study. There's a couple of them. There's one downstairs and then there's this one that is attached to the master floor with the master bedroom and the master bathroom. It's really just for, you know, the huge master suite on its own floor. It's pretty amazing. So I guess this is more like a private study. I put in some a club chair, a little table, and a little lamp its own personal desk so you can write your ultimate book in peace and quiet and privacy putting down some rugs changing things up a little bit I don't really do too much with that right now you'll see it later on when I post the photos of the little stairwell lobby hallway thing. Now I'm putting these little full length mirrors on here. I really liked how it looks, so I just did that throughout the entire walk in. It just kind of opens the space up a little bit because it is kind of narrow and looks a little cramped. I figured let's do that, bring some more light in there mirrors do that. This is just outside the bedroom of the master floor. So I put some cozy stuff out there. Really cozy sofas. And then I put another one upstairs which is attached to the boys room. I've been using that trick a lot of putting those lanterns in the large corners of the fences and I'm adding some lights just for funsies. I liked how they looked. I wish I could edit the length of the strings of lights. I wish those were editable. That would be cool. Did the same thing upstairs. It's attached to the boys room but the girls can get there if they go through the boys room too. So I put some cute blue chairs out there. It's a little bit more fun. And I feel with this a little bit, the beds were originally in a completely different position, but then I remembered some tricks that I learned from Katalee Creates when doing tiny homes. So I kind of used that because I wanted to fit both beds in there and the desk. So I used a dining table instead of a desk because both sides can be used. So therefore I can put a laptop on each side and put a chair in there. And now I'm just finalizing things and putting some color in there and some fun designs with rugs and lamps on the ceiling and wallpaper. I changed that again because I wanted a little bit more mm, plain so that the other things stand out instead. But I keep it pink and blue and cute and fun because these are kids rooms. This is the children's floor essentially with less formal family room. And with these boys I used the single I used the single space desks on the end there so that way the door isn't going to be blocked. I changed the door too. So it makes a bit more sense. And again, I changed those into something a little bit more neutral but yet blue because I wanted the focus to be on some of the things inside the room to give them their pops of color and fun and frivolity. Now I'm doing some closet designing. 
putting some stuff in there, working on this bathroom for the kids. I like that tub. It's a cute little tub. I like all the designs with it. Although sometimes I wish I could get those colors without all of the design designs. Now I'm making tool bathrooms because, you know, this is like four kids and, you know, parents, a large family. So all of the toilets. We're using all of the toilets today. All of them. I wanted to keep this fun and light and cute too because it is essentially the family floor with the family room and the children's rooms. Now I'm working on the back garden a bit and moving things and adding that foundation and then I'm using the dragging of the wall trick so I can connect that to something that has a tall lifted foundation and I'm also changing that to a fence I'm putting those cute little I can't remember what pack those were from get together maybe I don't know I like them they're cute they have little pears on them messing around with some of the landscaping in the little side garden beds there's a water feature in the middle kind of softens things a bit. Some trees, brick, lanterns, table, some ferns. You know how I love my plants. So if there's going to be plants happening, I'll take care of it. I added a dark paint so to mimic dirt. And I just shoved it full of plants. You know, like you do. Well, like I do. All the time. And then I added those little Hawaiian grass things to kind of fill in the space and kind of soften edges a little bit more structure but soft now this is the basement and it's kind of fun it's kind of a maze of doors though you'll see what I mean when I tour it and show you the pictures see this is where I changed that back into a stairwell because I need to be able to get down to the basement and I can't really fit another set of stairs for the other stairs that were going up we're residing putting those tall mirrors on either side of the gym portion that I used a basketball floor and some of the spa day and fitness stuff objects for fitness and the spa day doors I love that pack it's such a good pack such a good pack I love the stuff in it when it comes to build and buy it's just so much fun really pretty another fancy schmancy bathroom because you know when you're out there playing basketball and running on the treadmill sometimes you just have to pee and you don't want to go all the way upstairs because you're just going to head to the sauna and burn yourself alive anyway, right? Okay. Putting in some lights. I'm using the island lights. Actually, no, those are the kettlebell ones, aren't they? That's a little sitting room, kind of like the smoking lounge of a cigar shop or something red club chairs there's a little bar that's attached to it where men would come down and drink whiskey and their smoking jackets and everything you know really fancy really old style here is the photo tour i hope you have enjoyed the build it will be up on the gallery it has not been play tested I did use move objects on, so make sure you turn that on before you place this on your lot. So use it at your own risk, but I am so excited. I cannot wait to see how you guys make it your own. Please, please post photos on the Twitter. Tag me. I want to see them. And that goes for any of my builds. I want to see you using my builds and making them your own. 
do not be afraid to go in there and change it so you can have the building function the way you need it to. That's what it's all about. Making my builds your own. Use them. I want to see them in use. I don't just build them to be pretty. Well, sometimes I do. But this case, definitely not. Use it. I loved this build. It was so much fun. It's unusual. I think this was my really first building collab that I've ever done with anybody for the YouTube. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Hopefully we can work together again soon. I hope you enjoyed my part of the collab. Please check out Humble Simmer's amazing creation to see the build completed in its entirety. Thank you so much for watching. May you be well, happy, and peaceful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.